Hey everybody, and welcome into the Real Estate Minute Show. Thanks for a few minutes of your time today. So today we're gonna to talk about first time home buyers. Because inventory is so low right now, and it's February of 2021, uh, we get a lot of first time home buyers that are coming in with a lot of anxiety. One is I can't find the place I want, and two, I haven't really planned to buy a home. I haven't prepared for it. They've been busy with their lives, working, starting careers, you know, maybe having children. Um, and they haven't spent a lot of time thinking about how to prepare, which is really saving, but properly saving over a period of time for the deposit. So out in California, or at least out in this area of where I do primarily a lot of my work in Agora, Westlake, Thousand Oaks, the Conejo Valley, as we call it, townhome, three bedroom, two bath townhome, for instance, as a first time home buyer is going to range between six and a quarter to $800,000. So a new first time home buyer has to prepare over a number of years, by the way, this doesn't happen overnight, to save anywhere between fifty dollars to $80,000. Likely more. That's putting about 10% down or less. Um, so how do you prepare for that? Well, it's a total mindset shift. And this is what I share with our first-time home buyers. We don't sit down and talk about how, you know, here's your solution to your problem tomorrow. Let's go shopping tomorrow. It's you need a mindset shift. So there's a book that uh, I read and it was actually part of a book club years ago um, called Profits First. And it's a book that kind of changed the way that I do my business or how I deal with my business. So if you have a business or even if you work for somebody in another company, there's a way to save and think about things differently. So for instance, in my business, what I do is every dollar that comes in an income, okay, I set aside 50%, okay, to go into a owner comp account, I call it, which essentially pays my salary and the people on our team. I put aside 25% into a tax account to pay the taxes that I'm going to owe on that money eventually. And then I take 15% and I stick it somewhere else and I take 5% and I stick it somewhere else. So I have actually four accounts. One is for to pay operating expenses, two to pay salaries, three to pay my taxes that I know are going to be due, and four is it called a profits account. It ranges between 5 and 10% of every dollar that comes in. Over time, those accounts build up. If you're working for somebody else, do the same thing with your salary. Split it up into maybe you only have two, a profits and a tax account. Maybe you have your home expenses, profits, and a tax account. You know, you make this work. This is the mindset shift difference, okay? And with, by doing so, these accounts build up and build up. So you have your taxes taken care of, your expenses taken care of, and your profit. Because you're in this, you're living, working, you own a business, running a business in my case, to have profit, not just pay the bills, right? So stick it aside and treat it like that. And treat your profit account, okay, that piece there, not as your go buy furniture, go buy new carpet, go you know uh, on vacations every day. That's your money that you're saving for something. And that something, in a lot of cases, is a new home, okay? So that's what we talk to our first time home buyers about. We talk to them about solutions, obviously, and put them in front of lenders that can help. We also talk to them about a longer term mindset shift. And it could take anywhere between, depending on what you make and how much you've saved, it could take a month, it could take five years, whatever it is, we have the patience for it. A lot of times first time home buyers don't have the patience for it, but that's the proper way to get prepared to buy a home in this market. Hope that helps a little bit and gets you thinking maybe different about a different way to look at it. Okay. Uh, take care guys. Have a great week and uh, we'll see you next week on the Real Estate Minute Show. Thanks for tuning in.